Welcome to this video. In this video, I will introduce how to draw two columns in one plot by Python. Here is the data. It's a CSV file. After we open it, we can see there are some rows and columns. And there are a lot of information. But here, I just wanted to draw the tuition column and uh, another column cost after aid. These two columns, I wanted to pl plot these two columns in one plot. And uh, the x-axis, it will be the US rank. Which means I want to plot a um, picture. The x axis is the US rank information, and uh, there are two columns in the one plot. One is about the tuition, the other one is about the cost after aid. How could we plot this one? First of all, we should read the CSV file. We could use import pandas as PD. We could define a variable name university data equal the PD dot read CSV. And here I could copy the university data CSV path. Copy the path. And the uni, uni data to show the data information. There's an error. The path name, we should use the single quotation mark to change it to string. Now, it show all the information about the table. We need to we need to pay attention to the US rank, tuition, and the cost after aid. If I need to plot the figure, so we could import the Metaplot library dot Python plot as PLT. And then we could write the code. For here, since we need to plot two columns in one plot, we could use the, first of all, we should use the unit data to set the index. The set index it's for the x axis. After we finish to uh, specify the x axis, and then we just need to plot the two columns. First, we could define the figure, PLT figure. And we could define x1 equal figure dot add subplot. Here just one figure, so we could show 111. And then you need data. Since we need to draw the equation, so we just need to use the data frame and use the bracket plus the column name to get the data and the plot. The first variable is the ax, it will equal x1, and the label, we could give it a tuition. We could use plt X label. We could add the X label for the picture, US rank. 
here is for the first one. And for the second one, we just need to x2 equal. Here is very important. We should use this one, x1 dot. Here is very important. We should use the twin x function to put them together. And the second one is the column cost after 8. So it's similar. We just need to use unidata bracket and the, the column name to get this column data and the dot plot ax equal x2 and the label is cost after 8. Here is for the picture too. After we finish both of them, we could plt dot show. And then we can take a look. You can see the picture it comes out. The left one is one data and the second one is the other data. And the, both of the color they are blue. It's not very good to recognition. We could define, we could add the property for the second one, the color, we could specify it's green. Run it again. Now it's better. We can know that the green color is for the cost after aid and the blue color is for the tuition. But uh, it's better for us to specify the left side data is for tuition and uh, the right side is for right side for the cost after aid. So which means we need to add the Y label. For the first one we could use x1 dot set y label uh, the name we could give it a tuition the second one we also could uh, x2 dot set y label cost after 8 We can run it again. Now it's better. For this whole picture, we have the x axis, y axis, and we also specify the color. But we just, if we just see the graph, we cannot say green color is for cost after 8 or for tuition. So here we could add the legend to specify the which color, which line color is for cost after aid and which one is for the tuition. We should use the legend. We, for the first one, we could plt legend. And the, the location, we could set it 1. Set 1, which means the top, top right side. So here, now it's much better. And for the second one, we also could add the legend. Location is also equal one. But here is the problem. Two of them are in the same position. We wanted to separate them. So for the second one, we could add another property. B box to anchor we could specify the position equal here we could give it a one one first to take a look no change it's still in the same position we could change it the second one the y value to 0 0.9 to take a look it's better now separate after we finish this one, we can see this whole graph is much better than the beginning. Now the graph is very good and we have the x-axis, y-axis and also distinguished color.
we could add the title for this whole picture, plt dot title. We can say a uh, tuition. Tuition, um, based on tuition information, based on US rank, and then run it. Yeah, you can see the title will show in the above, will show the above of the picture. The picture looks very good now. If you have any question, leave me a comment. Thanks for your watching.